So, violent clashes echoed across two capital cities, half a world apart today. The Ukrainian Prime Minister warning that the mass protests against the decision not to sign a deal for closer ties with the EU bore all signs of a coup. Matt Fry is there for us. We'll join him shortly. But first, to Bangkok, where the originally peaceful protests turned ugly as the demonstrators tried to reach the Thai Prime Minister's residence. John Sparks is in the capital tonight. John. Broadly speaking, John, there are two groups who compete for power in Thailand, and over the last month or so, they've done so peacefully. But that changed today. Anti-government protesters who've claimed the mantle of peaceful resistance tried to seize the office of the prime minister, Yinglak Shinawat, and they tried to do so by force. The police responded in kind with a hail of rubber bullets, water cannon and tear gas. The result was chaos. The result was a day of street fighting in the city of Bangkok. It was supposed to be peaceful, a non-violent campaign against the Thai government, but it's turned into a bare-knuckled battle for power. Parts of Bangkok streaked with tear gas and rubber bullets today as protesters tried to seize government ministries from the police. Many here are driven by hatred for the country's prime minister, Yinglak Shinawat, and those seen to support her. A man who looks like he's a member of the security services has been caught by the mob. And it is a mob right now. He's been beaten, punched. It's absolutely terrifying. I don't know where they're taking him. We watched as protesters crept up to the barricades around the prime minister's office with an assortment of homemade weaponry. But several rounds of tear gas saw them off. The protesters can't take it. They're making their way back. Later, we spoke to one man involved in the charge. What are you trying to do? We want to get inside. We're trying to break through, and it has to get done today. Do you call this a peaceful protest? Yes, we are the peaceful ones, but the government is not. We have no arms. We have our bare hands and our whistles. The protest leader, a fiery politician called Sutep Tuaksuban, told euphoric supporters that the government would soon fall. The Prime Minister, Yinglak Shinawat, also spoke, offering to hold talks. But Mr. Sutep refuses to negotiate. It's a problem I put to her foreign minister today. He said he's not negotiating. I don't know. That's the way Sutep thinks. Maybe he's thinking right now he's a god. He can do anything. A very human battle broke out for the police headquarters. Protesters tried to dismantle the barricades with their bare hands, while a determined few took cover in a no man's land between the two sides. As evening approached, police lines were rammed with a rubbish truck. They responded with a scorching mix of water and pepper spray. My skin is burning, my face is burning, my eyes are very sore. Other people here are throwing up, they're in a bad way. The police won themselves a few minutes, but the protesters returned, and they'll be there tomorrow as well. John Sparks, Channel 4 News, Bangkok.